And we're recording. And we're recording. We're live from Infocom 2024. 2024. Well, as our vo- well, look at that. We got we got we got levels. We got a live stream. Well, it's not really live. It's fake. Live. It's, it's fake live. But we're, we're allowed to fake live. We're up in the sky. On you know, a double decker. Yeah, uh, Joe is not hiding. Um, and it, and in fact, that we stayed out. And up and awake until 3 a.m. this 3 morning. 3 a.m. with the after getting White Castles. Uh, yes, yeah. Interesting burgers and interesting sliders. I don't, yeah, slider. I don't know if White Castles allowed. No, to be we're not allowed. A they're, they're probably like pad and pending. How are we doing down there? See, we get, you get people. Viva Las Hetma. Yeah. People walking by. We're on a double decker, by the way, guys. If you, if you haven't realized, at the Hetma boot. Um, in C5651, have I got 5651 yeah. up in the skies here, overlooking all these great Hetma sponsors all around us. I, I think that I'll start there, Joe. This is the difference I've noticed between Infocom and ISE. You don't have to walk for miles and miles and miles. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there is the two different, you know, halls. But yes, you're right. Everything is around. And what I love about Infocom too, is how things are kind of clustered with each other, um, you know, as opposed to uh, where, like, I think the solutions kind of evolve and, and melt with one another here. So where you've got, you know, Starin right over here, yep. and then you got Sennheiser right over here. You got, you know, uh, Computer Comforts and Ereva, all these great sponsors of us that it just, you kind of, you can hop right around and get and have that, that discussion. Now, but, Joe, is it true? What? That if, what, what? Uh, so all the Hetma team have been telling me that if we get 7,000 bad scans... 7,230. 7,230. There's a number there, guys. 7,230. You're going to get a tattoo. I will get the Hetma H tattoo. Okay. Uh, Britt has one. Yes, Britt has one. Fair play, Britt. Britt Brit branded her body forever. Have you any other tattoos? No. No. So no. you'll be a first-timer? It would be my first. It'd be like me doing a first-timer. Are you so, nervous? Uh, no, because I don't think we're going to get 7,000 scans. What if we just take the, the bad scan and just go around everywhere else? Well, I would be happy if we did, but yeah. I just don't think we will. Oh, come on. Right. Well, we had 4,000 last year. I think we'll match and beat 4,000. I don't know. Can we, we'll get... do, can we see a daily stat? Well, I guess we could. I guess, I guess we could, but do we want to do that or do we want to just keep it a surprise? I don't know that we want to. Yeah, we just have know. to keep it a surprise. So, all right. So let's let's jump in. Um, a, a couple of things. Uh, first, the coolest thing about having the booth. You know, this is our second year having a booth at Infocom. It was an it, interesting setup. We it was. Yes, yeah. most, most trust. It took a while. We got uh, we uh, we got snacks. shut down a few times. Yeah, yeah. You know, it turns out that it's a little bit more uh, rules here in Vegas and unions and. People yep. doing things, but you know, we, we played along, we did everything right. What I love the most is like when we are absolutely hot, 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 hot arriving in Vegas, and then they're telling us, No, we can't bring stuff in. Yeah, yeah, and, and of course, they told us that right after we already loaded up all the cars. Yeah, yeah, onto our cars, and then someone else has to take it in for us. <laughs> you know? But you know what? We learned, we got it, we yeah. got it built. Uh, we had an incredible group, you know, what 20 different volunteers coming in. Getting things. Ann Kelly is the rock star. For she it. is. She is. She they, and her husband Carl. I mean, they just they knocked it out of the park. Yeah, they did. Like that. It's it's given me a whole new experience. Not just being over here in Vegas, but actually the the logistics that go into setting up a booth, getting things signed off, hitting some snags, and getting over those snags to get this all in operational. Like I walked into the West Hall earlier on. I was like. Oh, the smell of carpet glue. Because you're walking around trying not to get knocked down by a forklift truck mm -hmm. the whole way through. Um, but somehow or other, we went out last night. We had a pool party. We came back this morning, and the carpet is laid. <laughs> it's amazing. Ah, my, my, ah, Your allergies. My allergies are killing me. But, no, it's amazing how they, you know, what it turns into, right? Yeah. What it go, it's funny because you see... We got here Friday, yep. started loading things, yep. and um, the best road trip ever. We should have had a GoPro on that on that. Uh, I'm dying here. I'm dying on, on that view hall because now there is some photos, and you will see them on social media if you look at Joe or myself's uh, page, and of course BC was there as well. But I was stuck in the middle, and 
you know, on the folding chair, on a folding chair, which is now Cherry McChair face. I know the vote got uh, the the chair of Vegas, but uh, chair of Vegas, but I, I want Cherry McChair face, and I get to say in the matter. So it's Cherry McChair face. Think, I think the chair's chair. The chair's chair. Chairs, but you're not a chair. I don't know. No. What are you? Gonna, are you going to take the chair back? With no, you? no, 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 no. I think we just like put them in different places. Can we bring the chair? Along the Grand Canyon, and then just leave us somewhere. Um, yes. Well, we put stickers on it. They would get tracked back to us. Oh yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. If that would be very wise. Yeah. You know. So um, I'm I'm being interrupted during our recording. I'm being summoned by food and beverage. I'm willing See, to bet that PC happens. Hatchet could handle that for us. Food and beverage is coming. Yes. By food and beverage. They're setting it. Well, we're doing happy hour every day from well, 2 to 4. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, only, it's only coming up to 12 o'clock here while we do this recording. So, they, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I, I've said it to Tim Albright. We ne need to get Cherry McChairface nominated for a uh, Reader's Choice Award. I think we're going for a little bit of a stretch here. But, all right, let's get down to the important things. Uh -huh. You've had White Castle. Yes. You've had Chick-fil-A. Yes. You've had In-N-Out. I had In-N-Out. In, uh, in a very hot um, strip. Uh, that, 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 that Fremont, I can't remember. Link. 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 Link, link, the link promenade promenade where you had your It is hot out there when you're sitting out having In-N-Out. Which is better? Rank, rank them. Which, which okay. one? In-N-Out. Yes. That is the correct yeah, answer. Chick-fil-A. Then Chick Fil A, uh, then, and then uh, the White Castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That is the correct answer. Yeah, I will. I will let that slide. That is good. Um, so now, uh, you also you got to experience the boat. Like I got. Boat? Oh yes, the boat. Joe lives on a lake, guys. I could actually get used to just staying at his house. Uh, if I can find an excuse to just stay there, I will. You know what? The the boat is always free. You can you know. Just hang out on the bottom of the boat and, you know, it yep, work. Yep, we seen UCLA, we seen USC, giving me a great experience of what an American university looks like. It, it was massive. Great to meet all your team out there. I know you say that, like, you want to do things that you did in USC, but the great thing is you have all the rooms operational and working and great teams around in UCLA. And... And building and yep. some. Yeah. Yes. You know, um, and the thing is we're gonna do we're gonna do some great things. Obviously, it's still it's still early. You got to hang out with my team, you got to hang out with, with Tay and Chi and, and Dan and all them, uh, and Hunter. So, you know, which is great. So you're getting the whole experience. But let's come back now. Um, this is your first infocom. Mm -hmm. You've been to ISEs. What to somebody uh, from your point of view? Is the or is that key difference? The key difference, like you used the word even before we came out, is family. It's it, you know setting up this hetma booth, and you know everyone's getting on with each other. Everyone has a, a duty. We all looked after each other. Some people put their hand up and went, "I don't know how to, you know, put this this boot together, but I'll hold stuff. I'll go off and get pizzas while everyone's doing things." But I think it's most the crucial thing that I even said to BC the other day, all volunteers. I know I said that on the Ultimate Seki podcast uh, episode went out just 24 hours ago. It's it's all volunteers that are putting this team together, and they've also been double jobbing doing the higher ed AV uh, higher ed AV yeah. awards and yeah. higher ed AV summit. You know as well, like you've you've done three different things. Meanwhile, today, like Ryan's gone off and done a, a load of boot tours as well. Yeah, yeah, he's he's bringing a tour through. It's amazing. Like, and so now you can see why we went out to ISC. It's like, how do we now get that magical thing, right? You see, people are coming by. Everyone in higher ed is stopping through here. They're grabbing their coffee, <laughs> getting some water, relaxing, picking up some swag. We have the best swag. We you do have, actually. We do have the best swag. That that took hours to put the bag together. Goes up. Yeah, yeah, like. The one thing that we had was our uh, bottle opener keychains, all individually plastic wrapped. So did not to we did recycle. We did recycle all that plastic. I can tell you there was a lot of plastic that came off. There, there was, there was. Um, 
No, and I think that, I think you kind of nailed the thing is, you know, when we're here, we are family. Yeah. And you feel that, and that's one thing, you know, uh, post our post-ISE show, well, and, and pre, I was saying the difference is a lot of Europe and a lot of the groups, while everyone's in higher ed and there's plenty of them there, they kind of hang out with their each their own little yes. group. They don't come together like we do here. Yeah, and that uh, that's a key thing. Like we have come together. But what what has been great, Joe, is the fact of finally getting out to America to experience a trade show and bumping into people that I've talked to for years, even pre-COVID and AV happy hour that used to be going on every Friday night during COVID and finally getting to meet people or people that have stopped me and go, you're Justin, you know, I listen to your podcast. It's like, it's, it's such a warm feeling or even just doing the autism advocacy that I'm doing, people saying, you really reached out to me, you know, I have an autistic son or I have an autistic grandchild, you know, it's meant so much to know that we can change the industry one step at a time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and you you feel that, like that our voices are appreciated. Um, and like last night was was one of my favorite, A.V. Roki. You got to experience an A.V. Roki. Yes, yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy, uh, huh? it, it was pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. I also got to do the sphere. And like, I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah what, was your, what was your sphere? What, what, what was your takeaway? So I love the way the sphere starts off. And it's a narrow screen, even though like, well, when I say narrow, it's like from your seat, you're looking going, shouldn't this be all immersive? And then they tell the story. And then all of a sudden, boom, there is the full 360, the sound, the wind, everything that goes through that. I know, I, know, I know you did the U2, which is a totally different experience, of course, being a concert. But tell me the story of like, it, it had a lot of messages about religions. It had a, a lot of messages about, you know, saving the planet. But, like, also, just it made you feel like you were actually at that point, whether it was in Rome or whether it was, you know, up a mountain or at a lake or underwater. It's that feeling. Like, you actually, every person in that room, and I, I did go for the premium tickets. I did go for two or six just to experience it. And um, do I think it was worthwhile? Yes, I did think it was worthwhile. Was there a lot of empty seats still? And is the sphere trying to still get their money back? Yes. Maybe they need to start dropping the price a bit. That's that's my thought on it. It's Vegas. There's no such thing as dropping price. price. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. You come to Vegas and plan to spend yeah, yeah, money. It's bed money. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, and you know, I love the sphere. I, absolutely. Um, I would say it's the the novelty of it has kind of worn away on me a little bit since then. <laughs> but like, it's, it's it so much amazing. fun that like I'm on floor thirteen in the Westgate. Yeah, another thing to talk about is that yes, in ISE in Barcelona, you know, you might be put in a hotel, it might be close by, you might get a, a taxi or a, um, a free now over to the hotel. What's really great about the Westgate, and people say like, oh, the Westgate. The great thing is. I know after the show, I can go back to my hotel room. It only is about a 20 minute walk. It's great that you're actually right beside the conference center. You roll out of bed after a night of partying because it is Vegas and you're at the convention center. Yep, absolutely. And that's, hey, I always say, that's why Hetla, we do our room block there. We have 120 people that stay there. Um, so we're we're at a tech show and we haven't talked about the tech yet. Yes, yeah, yeah. We have to talk about <laughs> well, tech. It's also been new, right? We just we're we are recording this only three hours into the show floor opening. Yeah. But one of the kind of advantages of putting a booth together is we kind of get to walk around and look at what other people are doing ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, well, any quick takeaways? I know we'll probably talk more after the show and really about some of the tech. But do you have any uh, any quick takeaways thoughts? Um, I I really like what Aurora's doing. I I I've liked what Aurora's doing since um. ISE, they have some really nice uh, stuff to to have a look at. So if you're if you're watching back on this, do take a look at uh, some of the Aurora, Aurora stuff that's that's come out with their touch panels and like built-in speakers and beamforming mics. And um, I I'm really looking forward to walking around and seeing some products. Like there is some some desks, uh, classroom desks and and podiums. That yes, we do have some European desks, but having some extra quirky features and um, i've just been in with logitech as well and seeing some of their their materials as well so 
yeah, I, I, I you know, I, I wanted, I, I feel that I've seen a lot from West Hall already from going to ISE, unless someone tells me that something new is out. But uh, some of the new control stuff that's that's out at the moment. What about yourself? Yeah, you know, I would agree with that. Um, I, I think. I haven't yet seen a wow thing that mm -hmm. said, okay, this changes. But now, granted, only three hours. Yes, well, really only three hours in. It's really not going to be until Friday because of work in the booth and stuff and the summit and all of that that I'll really get a chance to kind of go and, and check some things out. But you start getting the press release. So the advantage of being here as press yes, yes. is we start getting And the we press. get a lot of emails, guys. So we get yeah, working so, through that, you know, So I'll start hearing over the next day or two you know, what's living up to the height, you know, when we do our happy hours, that's a great opportunity to talk to other higher ed people and go, hey, what did you, where'd you go today? Did you see anything interesting today? Mm -hmm. You know, what are your takeaways? So those are things that, you know, like I said, by Friday, I'll get out and I'll start really checking out what, what's happening. Yep. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to just having a good walk around later on today and, and seeing what, what's available. Um, the pool party as well that we had yesterday was pool good. Party, pool yeah. party was good. You did a lot of uh, parties yesterday or meet and greets. I did uh, six, seven, seven, yeah, six and, or seven. But like it was one thing I have to say about the sphere. It was hard to get over to Av Roki. It was a great Av Roki, um, and again, you know, you you kept the party alive till till all hours of the morning. You know, I, let's, I don't know how wise it was to stay awake until 3 a.m. No. on the night before Peerless Party. Yeah. Because that's tonight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then we're going to have to talk later about difference between ISE Peerless and Vegas Peerless. Yes, that's coming up in a, in a Wait day. Wait until you see Zook Nightclub. Yeah. It's, it's, You're going to freak. Yes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a busy night. Yeah, and we are staring before that. We have time before that. We have our wristbands. I think Pete. I have three wristbands. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, it the means I, I, got them, alive. I got them for people. Do you, do, do you, we have to talk about the, the Hetma cape that we. we... Viva Lost Hetma cape. Ann Kelly made uh, custom capes for us. If you see the video, we have uh, everyone, all the booth workers and all the chair uh, chairs have a have their own custom cape. What what did you what was your take on the higher ed summit for the two days? Wow. Well, first yeah. Simeon's speech, but uh, it, I mean, I lo love what he does. That is the that that's key. Um, but I love the fact you know when I opened it up, the one thing I said was when we're going to put an education summit together, and we want to bring in all the experts. We are the experts. Yes. Yeah. Our people are our experts. Yes. Yeah. No, I I my takeaway is. Uh, looking at the way, and even visiting UCLA and USC, is looking at the way you guys do teams over here. And I'm, I'm, what I mean teams, I mean staff over here. And um, whether IT staff, whether it be live events, whether it be AV, like, yeah, not every college and, and university can do that. Oh, no. Hooper. Woo! Yeah, buy up in the house. Buy up in the house. Yeah, yeah. Are you like crashing our live recording? You can crash our live you're, recording. You're reco yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Michael Hooper. With? Buy up. Buy up was one of the stops we made yesterday. Got to see Shirley. Shirley's the best. Yes, the best. she is. Well, I, what about you, though? The worst. Okay. I mean, you know, okay. you're, we, we were talking you're, about. You're a team. We're. we're, we're, we're you're a team of two now. Well, it's two right now. So, yes. You lost the, the best, best. I am the worst. So, there That's you go. That's how math works. All right. So, what? Uh, you, you're, you're going to get, get a quick quick uh, opportunity to tell us what Biomps is showing. Yeah, what's Biomps? Uh, new audio video technology. There is so much. I can't do this in like 10 seconds. You're come the on, one that crashed on the, the recording. You got to do uh, it. Come on by and see Biomps Workplace. Biomps Workplace. Workplace. What's new in Biome Workplace? Biome Workplace is going to be your new platform for all of your remote managing, monitoring, maintenance, and upkeep of your Biome systems across your enterprise campus. Is it true that you don't, like, you get told on the day of your trade show, this is the new stuff? Because that, that, that's what Nev Bounds has told me, that, like, they, that no one tells anyone anything until the day of the trade show. That is actually very true. 
I sound very ignorant on our new things because I don't know them that well. I learned about them yesterday. See, see, and that's Just literally yesterday. that's literally the day before it happens. Yeah, Nev. Has, I've always sat Nev bounced down. I was like, come on, Nev, tell me what's <laughs> coming out new. I'll sign an NDA. They won't tell us. They don't tell us. Yeah. We don't even know. We are surprised as you guys are on on Wednesday. We're like, okay, because they don't even let us come to the booth to set it up. We wow. have a whole team that mm -hmm. sets up the booth, and they're very like hush hush about the new technology. Love it, love, love it. it. Well, that's what when we get our exhibitor and our press things, we got it. We kind of sign a little in like NDA. We get on the floor early. We're not allowed to talk about things, uh -huh. even though we might see them. You know, that's just part of the game. Part of the game. Yeah, sounds good. Don't you love my cape? I think All your right. cape is super fantastic. I'm very jealous. Viva Las Hetma. He's, he's not wearing the, he the the sunglasses because we were up till 3 o'clock in the morning. No, sir. He's, he is Elvis. Does the cape come with like a matching Speedo that you're going to wear at the pool party later? Oh. Just the cape and Speedo? There we go. That would have been fantastic. There we go. Get on it. Get on it. All right. You know what? You. Amazon. See you guys. Um, <laughs> you know, Amazon like delivers to, to by FedEx. Can we get it done on time? Yeah, no, we ain't going to no, do that. No, no, no. I mean, it sounded that. like a great idea that we won't really do. No, no. All right. Um, we'll, 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 is there anything else to talk about, or should we just land this plane for now? Let, then, I think we land this plane. I, I think there's so much that we have to. Friday and yeah, we'll, yeah we're going to talk about the best of on Friday. Um, between you're, you're doing your Higher Ed AV podcast and talking about the best of. I'm sure I'm going to grab you at some point and do uh, like the whole thing, Techie Podcast, and what is the products that we we seen and what we enjoyed at the end of the week. Sounds like a plan. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, here we go, are live from the Infocom show floor, C5651, the Hetma booth, Viva Las Hetma.